meet Peter Byram, a professional artist with an unusual visual arts background ranging from TV camera work to TAFE and university teaching. He regularly enters the Archibald Portrait Prize competition, but his real love is Australian landscape painting in his own unique style. An artist can say, this is what I want to say in my work, and if you don't see it my way, I have failed as an artist. I don't see it that way at all. A lot of people bring their own baggage in viewing, and I think that's really important. Some people, no matter what, will see it another way. That's great. Um, um, that's the beauty of, of art. I mean, it's open for your own interpretation. You, you don't have to. There's not one way of seeing it. That's the correct way. Study his art or engage him in conversation and you'll soon learn Peter Byram is passionate about the environment. We want to learn to, to use the land sustainably and that's, that's what's really important to me. I'm interested in, in, um, in time and how we use and how the land changes over that time. I believe in my work that uh, the, the traditional, for want of a better term, pictorial way which we paint a scene uh, is not going to work. It's too limited. Uh, whereas our imagination, the abstract side of the painting, I can put all these different symbols in and it can um, uh, promote a question. What does that mean? Most of my paintings, landscapes, are broken up into two areas. The top half is usually what I call pictorial. You can see what it is. Bush, trees, light, um, form. Underneath, it's more abstract. Now in that, I bring in symbols. Symbols, in my current work, I'm using uh, the doily, for example. I use it as a stencil, um, where I put the doily down and then work the paint over the surface. In this current work, the doily represents uh, the European, Western, and the dots, which you can see in the work, is, is representing Puri mark making, if you like, and the marrying of those two. And I also like to contrast the bottom with the top and it sort of changes your, your plane of reality. You look at the trees at the top, and that sort of half solves the pictorial problem, if you like. Then you go down below, some people accept it, some people don't. Peter Byram is now gaining recognition as a driving force in a newly emerging Australian art movement he has named environmental expressionism. Peter says it's gaining momentum and has the potential to be as seriously regarded worldwide as other artistic movements, like Expressionism, Impressionism, Cubism, Futurism, etc. It's a broad art movement focusing on the environment in a new way. Now, there was environmental movements, of course, in the 1970s, uh, but I felt that these days a lot of artists were acting independently, and it was about time we started to consolidate uh, a group of artists that are like-minded and that's when I decide environmental expressionism was the way to go. Basically, Environmental Expression um, Manifesto is in two parts. One, it's, it's the surface, uh, expressing oneself in, in, in a gestural way on the surface, uh, 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 on the canvas. Uh, the other way is the, what a particular artist, he or she, in, in whatever discipline. Uh, it could be poetry, for example. It, it, it could be writing. It could be music. It started off purely as an art movement, um, as in visual arts. Uh, but if someone wants to, to to jump on board with music, for example, or poetry, which we have a, of course, we have a, um, a poet, 
um, now expressing in environmental expressionist terms. Um, again, that's a platform. I think what's important that the individual embraces the movement. That's what we want. How they decide to embrace, or, or I should say express, the, the environmental expressionist um, concerns, it's entirely up to them. We've had many artists have taken upon themselves just to say, yes, I am an environmental expressionist and proudly expresses so. I think that's fantastic. It's open for everyone. And I like to think that environmental expressionism goes that way. I'm really concerned that I just want it to take momentum in any shape or form, and it will take many shapes and forms. Besides exhibitions at several galleries, the environmental expressionism movement reached a high point when it was officially launched in the Victorian State Parliament by Premier Ted Bailey on the 5th of February 2010. Peter Byram and other environmental expressionists were able to speak directly to those in power and make them aware that this exciting art movement, born here in Australia, is really gaining momentum. You Google environmental expressionism and it's growing weekly.